Okay, everybody, this is my spoiler review of Black Mirror Season 6, Episode 4, Maisie Day. This was directed by Uta Brisevitz and written by Charlie Brooker. Before I jump into this review, please subscribe so you can see all my reviews. I'm doing every episode of Black Mirror. I also do celebrity interviews, and I try to respond to as many comments as I can. So I'd love you to be a part of this channel. This was a very strange episode in the sense it felt like the least Black Mirror episode ever. It felt like it should have been in Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities that was on Netflix. That was the vibe I had here. There was basically no use of advanced tech, at least, and having a message on that. Instead, it went the route of going and making a message about the paparazzi in 2005. And just the paparazzi in general is done to death. I've seen a hundred times over stories about the paparazzi being vile people. We know this, and they're really like the lowest of the earth, but this episode doesn't add anything new to that conversation, and if you're not going to add anything new to the conversation, at least make it really entertaining and interesting, and that doesn't happen here either. So I'm going to break down everything that happened in this episode and why I had a lot of issues with it. So we see this takes place in 2005 because Bo has this iPod shuffle when it came out that year and is listening to one thing by a marie that also came out that year and we see she's part of the paparazzi she gets a photo of the celebrity who is with his secret lover and he commits suicide a couple days later because of this photo this will start changing things in Bo's head about what she's actually doing and the final straw is that when she's with her fellow paparazzi and a celebrity comes out of a limo they're awful to this girl and it's really awakening her to stop and she does stop for a time but what happens is we meet Maisie Day the celebrity who is filming a movie in the Czech Republic and I love she's rocking the Ed Hardy shirt and she takes shrooms she's listening to Muse when they were good and drinks wine and stupidly goes to drive of course and she hits into what we know now is a werewolf so one of the first hints that this was a werewolf she hit was the next day her driver says to her they found a man in the road and she says a man so right there you knew it was something else that she had seen but this incident leads Bo back into the game because Maisie Day goes MIA for two weeks and her fellow paparazzi Hector tells her it's a big payday if you get a photo of her 30k and 40k if you get her as a junkie so with the big payday Bo goes against her better instinct to be a better person and goes back for the money where writing gets really just wonky here for me it's not the level of writing Charlie Brooker is known for because it is not his tier of quality what gets so weird about this episode is how many things happen to explain something and in the next scene we get the result like right away like everything is just feeding into something else but not in a good way not in a subtle way you see that start to happen when Bo puts the pieces together from a quote in an interview that Maisie loves a specific noodle place and then we see a scene where the worker from the noodle place sees Maisie and then the next scene Bo sees that worker so it would make sense that she's like hey I saw Maisie yesterday she's at a producer's house and it, it gets weird because in that night at the producer's house, Maisie's having flashbacks about what happened that night. We're still not revealed of what exactly happened, but we know she's a mess. But we are revealed that the next day, the whole living room is trashed when the maid comes home. But the living room's not really trashed. And looking back, you're like, this was a werewolf just loose in this house with literally all these glass windows. And, you know, it was a very respectable werewolf. It didn't break through all the glass. And even honestly, the living room didn't look that bad. It looked like maybe a toddler had a tantrum in there, but not a werewolf spending the night there. And then looking back, you see this doctor comes and I guess he's the specialty doctor who's dealt with werewolves before. I mean, as I'm saying this, this sounds really silly. Like, I can't believe this is Black Mirror, but he wants to keep her far away from people isolated and where i'm talking about this like continued writing that is not great is when Bo goes to the diner she gets stuck because Maisie's driver pops the tires i don't blame him and Bo asks the waiter is there a motel near here and he goes well only place near here is cedarwood retreat but it's more of a rehab place what like no one would say that it doesn't make any sense and there's clearly got to be a motel somewhere but even then why even mention a rehab center it's Literally, this waiter is spelling everything out that Bo needs to hear to get to the next scene. And also, just speaking of weird things in the story, her roommate Nathan gets two scenes, 
And then I'm like, oh, maybe they dropped in a cool thing. Like he says he doesn't like the garlic smell in the apartment. So I was, oh, maybe he's a werewolf, but that's really vampires, right? So it's not really cool thing like that. And then they have a whole scene come back where he wants her to pay rent just to establish that she doesn't have much money and she needs money. But I think we already got that point in general. So that didn't really feel necessary either. And the humor of it didn't really land. But we'll see. She calls Hector because she needs a ride. And then his bike is tracked. So that's so the whole crew can be in that final scene of the paparazzi to be there in this moment. They find Maisie shackled in the cabin. And if you didn't figure out the werewolf thing yet, which I don't blame you because it's so silly to even let your brain go to that idea. And knowing this is Black Mirror... It was like a very disappointing reveal. It wasn't like a, oh, reveal, or that's cool reveal, or okay. It wasn't even that. I was like, what? Like when the moon came through, I was like, really? I did like the nice little touch. I left little goats for her. That was very nice. The doctor, just in case she needs to eat something. But you see Bo's like, this is messed up. And the rest of the crew is doing this paparazzi point. He's taking pictures still. Again, this has been done so many times. Because you see they're trying to put in that reveal music they usually kind of do for Black Mirror, like something that's touching, powerful, eye-opening, and it's not landing here. If this is eye-opening to you, you've been living under a rock for years. But it was cool to see her as a werewolf, you know, maul some of these a-holes, so that was kind of cool. And also, just not Charlie Brooker-esque writing, where he literally introduces a cop. This cop gets a little scene here of dialogue at this diner, just so they can get his gun in the final moment for the Maisie and Bo scene. That is the whole purpose of the cop in this episode. I can't believe he wrote this episode. It's just not like him to write something like that. And then when they go to the diner, they go, I gotta block the door. But again, there's all these glass windows in this diner. Like, I feel like the werewolf's gonna figure it out and how to get in there. I don't think the werewolf's gonna go there and she's not gonna try to open the doorknob and go, ah, blocked. But after we see Maisie the werewolf basically kills everybody, even though the waiter was killed inadvertently by the gun, it sets up Bo to get the gun. And she's like, please kill me. Put me out of my misery, basically. And Bo gives her the gun to kill herself. But this is important. It's also so Bo can get the shot. So Bo, at the end of the day, still goes back to who she really is. This She is paparazzi. She's one of them. She literally in this woman's worst moment has to get the photo wants that money but man i thought this was not good i thought this was the worst episode of black mirror to date and they really hit it too because you had three really strong episodes before it i haven't seen the finale yet please don't spoil me on that i'm sure it's better than this they wouldn't put this as a finale because it's weak it's kind of buried in there it just felt like this episode was filling in the episode amount of order if they had five episodes ordered Man, this feel like they just rushed through this one to think of something and get it done. It was really poor. So really disappointing because you want to show like Black Mirror to keep quality up. And even some episodes haven't been as better as others. It's still quality. But this one I would say is not quality. I thought this could have been a show of Jordan Peele's Twilight Zone. Or again, a bad episode of Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities, which it had. So... I'm giving this one a 4.8. I thought it was really just disappointing. And it was actually more shocking than the actual twist of a world. Just shocking how not good this was. But they can't all be great. Let me know what you thought down below. I love to hear your thoughts. I read every comment. And again, I stress, please subscribe. These days are getting more and more competitive. Even comments help in so many ways. Anything you can do to help. I really appreciate it and I notice it. So I, I really appreciate that. And please follow me at Steve Barley Show on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok for more of me. And I'll see you next time.